Hey folks, TNT Nia here. Uh, just showing what the latest I have done to my uh, MCPX. I have turned turned the MCPX brushless. Um, as you see here, sorry for the video quality using my Droid X phone. Here is the, uh, the brushless speed control and uh, speed converter. Later on in, in the video, I'll show you how I wired it all up. And here is the Helimax 11,000 uh, KV uh, brushless and runner motor. I had to do no mods for this um, and use the 9-2 pinion. It came with a 12-2 pinion. Took that off and put a 9-2 pinion on and I will show you where uh, the parts and stuff that I used. Um, I actually flew it. It flies good. Where I was using 95% travel for my um, brush version for my pitch pitch travel on my on the white when it was brush version now um it, i actually can back my pitch down so i'm flying it now at 70 percent till i get used to having a little more power and everything so um my first video that i post up for it would be at 70 percent travel um first off this is the parts i use to uh for this upgrade, it is the uh, GWS uh, 9 tooth pinion. Um, part number is GW slash GM 09T3. Um, that's the 9 tooth pinion. Um, you can get these from BP Hobbies. Uh, I think they're like 25 cents uh, a, a bag uh, for, for some. Um, right here, I use the brush, brushless conversion novice CP kit, which came with uh, the HM XM3005 speed control, which is right here. Um, and it came with the 11,000 uh, 11, uh, KV motor. So this kit, you can get this from Helimax. This kit costs uh, $30 for the speed control and the motor. Um, the other part where I showed earlier, I used the uh, Steve converter, brush to brushless uh, uh, converter. Now, how I got this running, and I'm flying it off of my um, regular stock batteries. Uh, if you're throwing it around on regular stock batteries, you get no more. Well, it depends on the pitch travel. So I've been testing it. When I was flying it with 95%, I won't get no more than three minutes. About five, six seconds after three minutes flight, the low lipo cell kicks in and it cuts the helicopter completely off. Um, so I'm going to do more flights on it and with a lower, uh, with, with the like I said with the 70 percent pitch travel so that might save most some batteries some more but if you're flying around normal uh you probably can get a little more than that i really don't know i'm gonna like I said, i'm gonna do a hard flight and i'm gonna do just a flying around flight all right so far with this speed control it's uh actually good to use this speed control uh the steed converter, what I done was took the yellow wire that's off of the steed converter. It's right here. And I cut the watt, the plug off of the, the brush motor that came with this and soldered it into the positive side of the plug for the motor for, for that came off of the brush motor. And I used it and I plugged it right here. Uh, Still use the main motor plug instead of taking it and soldering it to the board. It's safer for me just to solder it to this plug here and run um, and just plug it into the uh, board itself, uh, the original plug. And that's, like I said, that's the plug off of the brush motor. That's the plug right out the brush, brush motor. Um, so then I took the blue wire here the blue wire, the red wire, and the white wire that's, wire that's on the Steve converter. I took it and soldered it into, soldered it to 
the signal, the main wires that plug into um, that 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 that's uh, that they use. If you putting it on the CP that plugs into the receiver, what I done was took those wires and plug and soldered red to red, white to white, and blue to black uh, for that for this type of uh, conversion. Um, so. Uh, most guys are taking the wires off here and soldering these wires straight into the board. I did that and I had um, got ready to put my ESC on and I had messed up this wire. It came off when I was trying to clean it up a little bit. It just popped off trying to clean up some excess stuff off of it. So that's why I had this extra part here. Uh, if you do mess this speed control up, it's only like $9 for this speed control. Um, so basically and this the little servo plug it comes with look like a little servo plug that plugs into uh the brushless motor so it's quite simple like i said i just ran um this yellow wire here this yellow wire here i just uh what i did was soldered it to took the old plug off of a brush motor off the brush motor soldered it to the positive side of the plug because on the blade, on the MCPX, you see here, it's green. So the green side is negative side. So you solder the yellow wire to the positive side, plug it into the board, and that would give you a signal which would come here to tell, hey, uh, okay, it's a brush signal coming in. Then this right here will turn the brush signal to, uh, to a brushless signal, so to work this brushless ESC. Um, like I said, it's like, it's a nice fit. Uh, it makes power, good power. Um, and I like it. And once again, like I said, you using parts, uh, the GWS pinion, it is a mod three pinion and the part number is GW GM 9 T three. Um, the brushless combo kit conversion kit for the novice CP which is XMX G8015. That's the part number for that. And say if you mess up your speed control like I did, uh, the part number for the speed control is XMX M3005. And I will put uh, the part numbers in the description down below. And um, I will put where you can get your speed converter also in the, th in the uh, description down below. But this key, Steve converter is uh, $14 and this coming straight out of Canada. Um, and it worked pretty good. I, I used one on my brushless MSR when I had it brushless. So, but it works uh, pretty good. Um, but it's, it's, it's real nice, it flies good, it's real smooth. Um, everything I'm, I'm liking it and I'm still using the stock tail on it and it's holding pretty good of course I have the extended tail boom on it um, but it's going it's doing pretty good and I will have a video up on it to show y'all how it flies um, as I always say God is good all the time this is TNT app thank you